Now, thank you so much for joining us. If you're just tuning in, uh, remember you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Waze Africa One with the hashtag Waze. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 I must apologize to our viewers. A lot of them send SMSs. Most times I check WhatsApp. So I'll, 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 I'll try to, <laughs> to check both. All right, so um, quickly, um, no, um, Sansi, you had a question yes, for Norma. Yes, I do. Um, Norma, like we know a couple of um, the challenges um, people experience in effective, effective communication is, is language barrier. I personally, I think in Igbo before I translate to, <laughs> to English. And then some other people don't have a complete knowledge of maybe the preferred language of communication, which brings me to the question, must everybody understand you? Is it okay to just say, you know what, they didn't communicate effectively? Isn't there room for the listener to make an effort to understand or, or I don't know, um, most yeah. Any, yeah. yeah, must everybody, must you be understood by everybody? <laughs> Tricky one. <laughs> it, Ooh, oh. Everyone the stance that you are trying to communicate so that they don't misunderstand or misrepresent you. It's one thing for them to know that this is what you stand for. It's another thing entirely for them to choose not to respond to what you're saying. But it is clear that this is where you stand and this is what you know. So it's, 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 it's better for you to be understood for what you believe in and what your message is. Unlike someone else who would just put something out there and you're not even sure what you're trying to communicate. Mm. So you must be clear and it must be clear to the other person what you are trying to communicate. So there's no misunderstanding at all mm -hmm. in the situation, even if the person refuses to take what you have said or what, where you stand as 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 your word yeah okay right. so this one is a big one for me so we could observe that some um That's languages so, um, barbara right barbara yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or norma can chip in if she wants to later <laughs> on but we can we can observe that some languages and some tribes have different let's say pronouns for male and female so i want to ask like in the french language for example now i want to ask what role does culture gender, um, nationality, social class, what effect does it have on effective communication? So I would say it has a lot. Um, it can either make or break what communication, I try not to say communication, to break it down a bit to say, I always like to simplify things, what he is trying to say, okay. um, which is what communication is. You're trying to pass on a message. Um, culture, definitely. Um, gender um, has even just your body language. Without even saying anything, you're already communicating. Um, not to talk, talk less of when, where you come from, whether you're male or female. Um, sometimes, um, and most times, I think psycho psychologists have proven this, that females are more subservient and, you know, male when they are communicating so a lady might give a presentation now um at work and she would seem almost like she's speaking to the audience and asking the audience to believe her you know asking for permission um a guy may actually go to and have that same presentation and be author, um, assert himself as the leader and an authority in that so gender also sometimes when you're speaking um has point has a part to play in communication Culture, the same thing. Um, I would say the way uh, Yoruba sometimes they speak and they show respect. Um, it's totally different from where the Igbos show respect. Uh, someone joked once and said um, that after um, Ore, everyone after Ore, we're all Igbos over there. Um, and you know, just because of that whole culture <laughs> breakdown. Um, Europeans as well, you know, you can come in and, you know, my, I, I might be six, I might be a mom with a 16 year old and my son's friends will come in and say, hi, Barbara, um, if we're in the UK or in the US, but that person is 16 year old, <laughs> a 16 year old uh, son of someone in, um, in Nigeria, if you're in African culture and you address your friend's mom as would by her first name, a serious wahala. Serious. Your mom, that friend's mom will probably ask you to go home and ask for home training for home and come training. back. 
when you have home training. Okay. Um, so again, culture really has, I think the underlying fact is just being aware of your audience. Mm. Okay, so um, knowing where you are um, and things like that. My mom was telling me once that I think her friend's daughter was married, her friend's son was married to an European lady. And the first time she came to Nigeria, um, I think the son had probably told her when you come in, you, know, you have to, you know, uh, gesticulate, you have to, you know, kneel down and greet. And she started greeting everybody from the two year old to oh the dear. five year old oh to the older people. She was double laying and kneeling oh and saying, Good afternoon, man. Good afternoon, everybody. She was kneeling down. So again, culture really has, it has a huge role. Okay. okay, so um, I'm happy you're bringing in culture and, you know, we have a unique culture in our political space in Nigeria. Um, just recently today, I was listening to the news and some leaders, some um, government leaders and um, ex-governors, serving governor and VIPs boarded an aircraft. Now, we know that we are in a pandemic. COVID-19 is real. And so m most times when you go to the street and you hear what the people are saying, they are telling you, no, this is corruption, this is fake, it's not real, okay. it's a husk, you know, and all of that. Why they would say that, in my own opinion, is when they see our leaders not practice what they are preaching. You know, there's nonverbal communication where your body language tells me otherwise from mm -hmm. what, whatever that is coming out from your mouth. Now, these people were going to board an aircraft, and the, the guidelines that, that guides the air, aircraft right now traveling, you must get your temperature checked, you must sanitize your hands, you must watch, sanitize your luggage and everything before you go into the you aircraft. You must even submit a COVID report. Do you report. understand? So, and they insisted that, no, do you know who I am? They are VIPs and all of that. So I want to say um, uh, or ask a question. How can we tell our leaders that when they are doing things like this, what they are communicating to the people is that it is okay for you not to adhere to the strict guidelines of COVID-19, despite the fact that ND, um, NCDC every day, they go out to give press briefings on the things you must do to, to stay safe. How do we communicate that? So because we live in a very peculiar country mm -hmm. and communicating upwards in Nigeria, it's somewhat difficult, even if you start in your immediate, the way we were raised, I think uh, the way we're raising our kids now is totally, diff totally different. Um, we are raised to not to talk up and correct your elders most times. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you're bringing it to the Nigerian context, how do we communicate to our leaders? I think, you know, with the, you know, when there was an issue, we, we, we need to form ourselves in masses and just keep pushing the narrative and telling them to act, calling our leaders out when they are acting in the wrong way. Um, that is the only way um, I, I feel they would probably and perhaps listen. Okay, if so we unite ourselves and, you know, call them out. I, I think it's, that's really what works most times in, in our society and especially with the culture, the, the Nigerian culture. Um, when you call people, when, you, when you're calling out, um, that's the only way you get attention. It's just unfortunate. Wow. In an ideal situation, there are channels that you can go through. You can sign petitions, you can sign things, and you know you'll get heard. Mm. But you know we were, we're a special breed. We're a special breed. Right? Yeah, yeah. Norma, do you want to add to that? <laughs> oh, yes. I share Babar's sentiments because it's left to the people, in my opinion, it's left to the people who have even chosen these leaders in question, right? So we have that choice to make in being able to help out. Okay, so- uh, If we know what is the right thing, if the only reason why we would find ourselves in this situation is because we ourselves don't even know what is right. Wow. If we know what is right, then we know who is an, a leader by example and who can represent us in the best way possible. But until we get there in our mind space, where we begin to hold ourselves accountable, then it starts from each and every one of us. So that when we're calling them out and saying, this is what you're doing wrong, and you need to, good enough, we are in the times of social media, that people that before you know it, a message has gone viral. So when we begin to do things like this, if we have people who are selfless enough to want to do what is right, 
then we can have more and more people who would stand up for what is true, what mm -hmm. is, and not be subservient. Mm -hmm. Because if these people are the ones representing us doing the wrong thing, then something must definitely Absolutely be wrong, wrong with yeah. our own thinking, so to speak. Yeah. Okay, so we do have uh, questions uh, from WhatsApp. This is from Jide. He says, do you think anyone in public service should go through a course on effective communication? <laughs> that's a yes. I guess that's, that's Most a... definitely. You uh, know, like I said earlier me. on, the communication, effective communication is an art. Hmm. It is like any other thing that you should learn as a skill, as an add-on soft skill. It's not just enough to go to school or to have a degree. When your character is in question, then that degree is questionable in the first right. place. Mm. It's not, then when we were in school, they say that some people went to school, but the school didn't go through them. Because mm -hmm. there's one thing for you to have a degree, it's another thing for the school to build in Mm. values that need to make you the kind of person that is readily available for leadership and communication and being able to help people to be a servant so if those things don't pass through you and you just have a degree that you're flying uh, you know that you're showing all over the place and your character is questionable then even that degree is most questionable mm. so i believe that every leader should go through a level of of polishing, so to speak, in the area of appearance, in the area of behavior, in the area of communication, because that makes you and your message more holistic. When you are saying you are appearing, when you are saying you are behaving, when you are saying you are also communicating, wow. all of them go okay. mm -hmm. hand in hand. All right, all right so I do okay. have um, quickly, um, quickly. Um, this other one from Lara, she says, Working in the bank and going in for monthly performance review is scary. The top executives mm. assume that speaking derogatory to staff can enhance performance. Mm. What is your advice on this? Quickly, because we have two minutes. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Okay. Um, well, I, I would say, in the, in the, especially in the workplace, try and act, look the, look, look the part. Mm -hmm. um, and just try and be courageous. It's really daunting. I can understand how it feels. Mm. Um, it, it's really daunting going in and being talked back at because sometimes we do get that in the workplace. Um, but try again to understand your audience. I think understanding your audience helps key. you a lot. Um, would probably go very far in helping you um, know how to communicate and how to react. Because if you know someone quickly who gets quickly upset or who shouts, when you go in with that expectation, it doesn't really hurt as much because you're you already understand that that person Wonderful. is that way. Mm. Okay. Um, I think that's what I would probably have to say. Please let me just on throw that. this one quickly in, mm. Uwa, because we're in the age of social media and where everyone is forming realism. So how would mm. you say? And I want to really ask Norma this question: How would you say that the advent and the the, the advancement of social media has effect uh, has affected effective communication? How are we communicating better? What's the quality? of the kind of communication that we put on social media. It's like everyone can do it. All right, AK. Now you see that on social media, social media is that space that feeds different minds, yeah. right? So you have different kinds of people sending different messages. For me, most times I don't send, I don't, put out anything that I'm not ready to stand by. Mm. But that is me. Somebody else who has not grown to that level can put out any and everything. Mm. Mm. Okay. And to actually start there because we're not even sure what our message is. So we're just putting up. But with time, as you grow, you now find out, I think this is what I want to be known for. So you begin to streamline. You begin to decide what is necessary for public consumption or what is private. However, it is growth, your growth level that will begin to expose you until everyone now knows that this is what you stand for and this is your message and this is what you are trying to communicate. It's not questionable. Mm. But for that to happen, growth 
is essential and needs to take place. Okay, so Sami Okonlawo, sorry there. He said the best and the most effective communication for political leaders is service delivery to the people. Hmm. When you target people's needs, carrying them along becomes easy and they therefore become your communications ambassador. That's from um, Sami Okonlawo. Then um, someone is saying, mad, mad is speaking with a market woman. Is, oh. I don't, I don't think I understand that this person message. Has not the person has not communicated <laughs> effectively. Um, so um, quickly, <laughs> I wanted to take one last qu uh, question. Someone says the recent past, past governor of Ibadan had issues with higher learners in his state. Reviewing it, I think communication played a role there. That's just a comment. So if you, in one word, let me quickly go to Barbara, just in one minute. If you would say in the workplace, right, um, I want to tie trust and communication. What do you think, you know, we should start building? How do we build trust so that we can effectively communicate in the workplace? Barbara, quickly. Um, basically, I feel um, if, you, if you build trust, everything, everything you say, people will be, believe it mm -hmm. and people will, people will sort of um, empathize with you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's I, the, it, if I'm living with one word, you know, people say it's not what you say is how you said it. Yeah. But what you say is just as important as how you say it. Mm -hmm. I've just sort of to say, so building trust is really, really important. And that speaks to your character that Norma also spoke about yes. being aware of yourself um, so that people get to trust everything you say um, generally in the workplace. Building trust within your team is really important. Norma, this is a very funny question. How effective, Norma, how effective is communication if the messenger is not trusted or a perpetual liar? <laughs> ah. Norma, one minute. I didn't get the question, sorry. How effective is communication if the messenger is not trusted or a trusted. perpetual liar? Ah. <laughs> that you know the person is a perpetual wow. liar. <laughs> then it will take the skills <laughs> of a very good teacher. And it will take time, it will take patience, wow. it will take a lot of practice to help that kind of person build character mm. in integrity mm. so that their word becomes bond. Mm. Most times people don't know the, the, the result of the actions they take today until they get to tomorrow. Absolutely. So if you start becoming more conscious of the results you want to see tomorrow, then it must begin today with the things that you begin to sow into yourself. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you wow. so much, ladies. Well done. Quickly, ladies, quickly, quickly. We have one, one minute. I would, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so what I, what I, I mean, I think we had a great show today. Absolutely. What I picked up is that effective communication is cultivated. Nobody is, very few people are born with it. Everybody is not Obama. Mm -hmm. And then, um, <laughs> <laughs> always, yeah, always go for feedbacks and then build integrity and trust. It just makes it easier for people to receive what you're saying. Absolutely, yeah. I would say, um, just as Norman said, communication is skill you can learn it mm, right. you can learn and you can learn mm, so mm -hmm. learn how to communicate effectively emotional intelligence and knowing your environment just as Barbara said is very key mm -hmm. so let me just end with that I think that is amazing that's, that's an amazing way to end do we still have one more message okay I don't think because so today I made sure that I'm checking both <laughs> sides you know yeah. but I just want to say that um, we don't know how powerful we are you know until we're able to deliver what we truly I mean, what we're thinking on our inside and deliver it to an audience and they truly receive it. Yeah. That way you're able to capture people. We had right. great leaders like Obama. You know, I mean, when Obama talked about, yes, we can. Everybody believed, I, I, I believe I could he walk makes you want well, to jump into the ocean, ocean with him. Do you understand? No, that, no, trust me. So I believe that I could walk on the, yes. on the, yes, we can. On the high sea. Campaign. with my yeah, yeah, that, yes, we can. So I think we, we need to build more passionate leaders that can communicate effectively the dream of and the future of the Nigeria we want to see. Because I agree. truly, if we begin to communicate effectively, a lot of things will change in our Relationships country. Absolutely. Well. All right, so we had an amazing show, ladies. We did. We did. We Thank did. you so I much to Norma, to Norma and Norma Barbara. And Barbara. I think you guys killed it. Yeah. It. So please watch a repeat broadcast of this episode tomorrow at 3 p.m. It's been a very insightful conversation. Keep all the conversations going on all our social media platforms at Way Show Africa and Plus TV Africa 
as we continue to hear what you are saying. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. To effectively communicate, we must realize that we are all different in the way we perceive the world and use this understanding as a guide to our communication with others. That's from Anthony Robbins. We'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye. <laughs> Ciao. Bye, everyone. Oh.